All right, take two. What up, Dota? It's your man, Zen Master. We're here for another edition of the Flavor Show. Uh, today, I have my number one interviewer with me by my side, none other than Sister Love, Miss Rhonda. Where you been? Where you been? I'm back. You're back. That's I'm all back. that counts. She okay. back. Where she been? She back. She back. That's what's up. And I am interviewing somebody who I have a uh, great deal of respect for, somebody uh, who's really put it down in his, in his field. No other than the world renowned, extraordinary Mr. Will Phelps. How Hello. you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good, man. Good. It's really glad to have you, man. Uh, I know that it's about three people that's watching who don't know who you are, who haven't heard uh, the classic story. So for those three people, I'm just going to give you an opportunity just to give a little background on what you do and how you do it. Hope is more than three people. That don't it's a know? whole bunch of people everybody. that don't know. Okay, well, let them know, you know then. <laughs> let, let all we, of them know. We're here to get to everybody who don't know. That's you know, what's there are up. people who do know. I want to know the ones who don't know. But I've been a, around a little while, you know, doing events and just entertainment as a whole. So, yeah. So, you, I mean, I know you, you're being modest. Very I know modest. You, Come you're on, right. You're being all humble and been around a little while. How long have you been in this game, man? Really a long time. So... You know, this for me started in high school, so it was way before the network days. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, part of groups in high school doing parties. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, and what group? Come on, man. Talk to the people. Come on, Will. We're trying to have a conversation, man. Talk to them. what group were you in the high school throwing parties with? Um, outside of doing some stuff myself. Uh, with Sharvar. Yeah. One so, of the hottest <laughs> party throwing groups in Detroit. I mean, he's being real humble here, man. Yeah, okay. Sorry, yeah, we Mark. had a good time. Yeah, we had a good time. Y'all so, some major parties, man. Mm -hmm. Yep, it it set the it laid the groundwork groundwork for the Charvari of today. You know, that mm -hmm. name was built back then. Okay, that's when it was built. So, yeah, and then it went on. You know, I did some stuff uh, solo, then I stuff with Will French, stuff with Daniel Small, just stuff with everybody who's who's ever done something in this city, entertainment okay. wise. So. I've had longevity, you know, we did Club Network, and we were Club Network for 12 years, 14 years. It so. was the bomb. Wow. Club Network used to be off the hook. If you weren't there back in the days and you don't know about it, shame on you, homie. I mean, it was some good times. Beautiful women, great parties. Yeah, so, you know, as soon as MGM came to their new building that they're in now, I was doing parties at V, I was doing parties at Ignite. So that was kind of like my 2000 and... Uh, 10 runs, stuff. You know, I've had different runs. Mm -hmm. So I've been here, you know, it's always somebody new come. Mm -hmm. I've been here. But you've been there, yeah, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How did you, because I mean, uh, you've been able to make a living off of it. And would I be fair in saying that? Yeah, it helps pay the bills. Yeah, yeah. So, mm -hmm. I mean, when did you realize or when did you say, I mean, I know you do other things as well, but when did you say, this is how I'm going to? you know, live my life, or this is how this is something I'm going to pursue for the rest of my life. You know, as a kid, I was introduced to that. Um, I had an older cousin, his name was David. He did parts, okay. him and his girlfriend. So I was able to go to the discos. I would be like, you know, 10, 11, working the door with my sister. My sister a few years older than me. We there were... Her, our first cousin, Rose, was originally my cousin, David's sister. Okay. So, you know, we kids, it was like, right. I got a chance to see disco and disco. Right. In the 70s, right. you know what I'm saying? So, right, right. what stuck with me was the, just the style of it all. You know, mm -hmm. to this day, I have to do things a certain way. You know, people be like, well, you ain't got to do that. You ain't gotta. No, I got to do that because it was how I was born right. in the right. business. For you know sure. what I'm saying? Standard. So, they did things a certain way. It was a beautiful okay. time. It was just beautiful people, everybody looking good. So, it just stuck with me. Mm -hmm. And I've always been, through my parents, I've always been an entrepreneurial person. And okay. just, I'm not going to sit and wait. I'm going to go get it. You right, know what I'm saying? for sure. That's what I do. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Were you like Mr. Popular in high school? You know, the person that everybody wanted to be around. And so this also gave you that extra edge. Like, okay, we got to go to that party. I don't know if I was the person they wanted to be around. I think I was the person that everybody knew. Okay. You know, people really don't know me because I'm really a loner. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't really have a lot of people that I hang around. And even back then, I was a part of everything, but I was also separate. So people knew who I was. I don't know if they wanted to hang around me or not, but when I had a party or something like that, they trusted it. Okay. You know, okay. people to this day will call me 
say, well, what should I do? You know what I'm saying? So I think back then that was the same. If Will was having something, they at least knew it was going to be something good going mm -hmm. on. Yeah. Okay. So you, you've done some things uh, that have been staples uh, for you and other people have uh, come in, you know, to try to do things that you've brought to the industry. And you talk about such as, you know, the black parties, the white parties. I mean, you know, uh, I want to say, I don't know if I'm wrong in saying this, but I want to say you uh, were like the first one who started having those theme parties here in the city. Am I? So it goes back once again to where I came from. Like a white party or a black party is nothing new for people a long time ago, but in my set, in my mm -hmm. era, you know, there's there's like gaps between mm -hmm. eras where, you know, things used to happen, stop happening, they just slowly stop happening. So that whole theme party in itself, mm -hmm. I've always been into it. So when we got the club network, it was, Will was just having some more of his theme party. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I was having a birthday party, was doing the color, we know color looks good. We went to white, you know, let's do white, you know, and, and it wasn't really happening. And the reason why it wasn't happening, because nobody, you know, it's hard to do a white party. It's easy to do it today. But back then, you actually had to have white in for people to wear. Mm -hmm. And yeah. they weren't having it a lot. That's true. Mm -hmm. Guys was like, I'm not wearing white. Right, right, I had to be right, like, right. look, you can't come in <laughs> if you ain't going to wear no white. Right. right. And they would go back the next year and get that white because... Everybody that they wanted to see was at that party. Was at that party. Mm -hmm. So they conformed to it. And, you know, when we were at Club Network, you know, our thing was this. I don't care what you've been doing before you came here. This is how we do it. Mm -hmm. Learn how we do it. And the whole feel for me in this party, well, I still do parties. It's fun. I like meeting people. But I also think that somebody got to show people how to do this, mm -hmm. you know. Somebody got to even teach the person who's going on how to be out. Like today, kids smoke weed, right? Everybody smoking weed is big. Right. So yeah, it is. I'm able to not say I have a weed spot, but I'm able to do certain things. So if I allow you to do certain things, there's a way you have to do it. Hmm. Kids go to these places all around. They bring their weed, they bring their papers, you know, they, they sit, and they take it and unroll the shit, and they just throw it everywhere. Right, right, right. Okay, so now the place is nasty. It looks a certain way. Mm. It's how you do stuff. Mm. Somebody got to teach people how to do stuff. Mm. If you're going to go out and you know you want to smoke that blunt, roll that blunt before you go out. Be neat when you get to that place. Don't leave a situation when people say, oh, we know them weed smokers mm. are taking mm. and We don't want to leave that. That's how I grew up. Right. Man, back in the day, these people were doing all kind of stuff, man. This, that shit y'all hear, that shit is real. It's that real, disco huh? era that shit, disco era, that shit is real. real. You Studio know, 57 or whatever? 54. 54. That shit is real. Right. So, these people did things a certain way. I seen a lot of stuff, man. You know, as a kid, I seen a lot of stuff. But once again, it was done a certain way. Mm -hmm. And I was in a situation where people... I was a young person, but they were going to protect me from things. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I was protected from yeah. stuff, but I still saw stuff. Mm -hmm. And I was smart enough and taught. You don't say nothing about what you see. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That's their thing. That ain't your thing. That's their thing. Mm -hmm. So, you know, people have to be taught what not to do, what to do, how to just to flow within a night. That's mm -hmm. what we need. That's why we have problems, because these people ain't never been taught. You know what I mean? That brings in another good question because uh, you talked about how uh, you know industry goes through different runs or you know different uh, times and things are changing. Twenty twenty, I'm sure this has brought on a change like maybe nothing you ever seen before because it's a time like none of us have ever seen before. How do you adjust? You know, and still uh, stay current, stay. Active people still come out to you with everything that's changing now. I'm a brand. So it's like Duncan Hines or Hines ketchup. It's, you know what you're getting when you go to get it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know that ketchup is going to be some thick ketchup coming out. You know you're going to be able to Look make that, that cake. You know right. what I'm saying? That's right. Yeah, you know. So <laughs> they know when it comes to will what I'm here to offer. So for me going forward or just period, 
I have I use that in anything I do. So I'm not just gonna stay here. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go anywhere I gotta get it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm doing now is, you know, my, part of my brand is Jesus here. Okay. Jesus here for me has always worked for me. It's okay. always been around me. So just like anything else, if I'm out here in the face of the public. You're going to know what I do. I'm not going to leave you guessing. I'm going to let you know what I do right. so you can Absolutely. have the opportunity to support it just like anybody else. Okay. Sis? So I was just thinking maybe you could tell us some of the current things that you're doing. Like what are some of the big events that you're having right now? Event-wise, um, I do have a, my original black party that's going to come December the 20th. It's going to be at the corner of Ballpark. It originally was going to be December the 4th. Mm-hmm. And due to the shutdown, um, we've had to reschedule the date. So that's on the 20th. So I am, I mean, this, nobody knows this. But because we had to reschedule the date, I'm going to freshen up the promotion on it. So instead of it just being my black party, it's going to be my black and white party. So when I was at Club Network, we, I did three events. I did a white party. Mm-hmm. Well, I did more than three events. I did a white party. Mm-hmm. Then I came back in, in late on August and did um, the black party. And then to finish out the year around October, we would have our black and white party. Mm-hmm. So this party, nobody knows this. Okay. It's hot but off the press. Exclusive. Flavor yeah. exclusive, baby. It's a flavor exclusive. No, <laughs> nobody sure. know this. Sure. Only person knew this was me. Now y'all know it. Now we know. So we're going to switch it up. We're going to do some black and white for this party because, you know, the shutdown is been kind of a damper for people, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So I have people to celebrate with me. Now they have to celebrate their birthday a little bit later than what they normally mm-hmm. would. And so just to freshen up the campaign, I'm switching it to, you know, black, because I usually have a black and white party anyway, so I'm just going to combine it. Okay. You can wear black, you can wear white, you can wear black and white, you can you know, get your space suit on. You know, right, 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 right. Be right. ready. The place is a great place. It's got good size. We got it's indoor, outdoor. It's just food. You can bring food as well. There's a service fee to bring, but you can bring food. Okay. Um, and we've got everything to offer for a person wanting to have a good time. When you come in the door, you know we take everybody's temperature. You know one of those cats. Okay. You walk up to mm-hmm. the thing, and it, you know everybody get they got to get their temperature checked. Okay. Um, you have to wear your mask coming in. When you get in. Tables are situated where they got good space around them. You know what I mean? Um, you can go outside. We have step and repeats everywhere for people to take pictures okay. in front of them. For sure. It's just a good situation. We've had a good time with it, you know. So um, it's really about the people that are celebrating their birthdays, though. So they come, they get their reservation, they, they have their group of people mm-hmm. with them, and they party together. You know what I mean? So do they still dance and get up and... People will still dance, okay. yeah. Uh-huh. Um, we have a dance floor. It's not as much as it used to be, but mm-hmm. people still dance. Uh, they, have, they do their thing. I have pictures. My Facebook is Will Phelps. Yes, please. No, Spread Love. Go to Spread Love Will Phelps. That's my latest Facebook page. Okay. 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 And, that's, uh, and I have Instagram, but Instagram doesn't allow me to put all the pictures. I have tons of pictures. You okay. know what I'm saying? So... Instagram. Well, drop your Instagram to him as well. My Instagram is Will Phelps Old Faces and Will Phelps Get It for Ellen DeGeneres. Those okay. are the two. Okay. All right. So, yeah. Anything else you want to leave? Because we're wrapping up. We got about uh, 40 seconds before this segment is up. Anything you want to leave with them? Uh, no, I'm going to leave Jesus here with you. Get the brand. Um, I, this is my hoodie for the winner. Um, of course, it has Jesus here, Detroit, on it. Where can they get it? Oh, they can order it directly from me. Directly from you yeah. on your Facebook or Instagram. Um, um, you can call me. Everybody oh. call me. I'm old school. Okay. My number is three one three seven seven nine zero eight three two. That's three one three seven seven nine zero eight three two. You call me. You text me. Me. Don't count on social media for nothing. There you go. There you call go. me. So my hoodie. You carry the old English on the. On the arm, mm-hmm. and then we carry the old English D on the hood. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. Flavor Network, we got to wrap this segment up. I really appreciate it. He's going to stick around for another segment with me, and uh, it's the Flavor Show. Peace. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Sweet. Real easy.